<sighs> Alright, so let's talk about a company known as Planet Eclipse real quick and what they're doing right now. Everyone knows that over the past couple years, Planet Eclipse has been uh, producing many guns on their own. And recently they just found out, oh my god, there's no Evo 12. What? So, what the deal is, Jack Wood, you know, posted up on PB Nation, boom, that's why we're not doing it. It's a really good idea, but that's not what this video is going to be about. That's not what I'm trying to get in here and talk about. What this video is about is, despite all this, rumor had it that Planet Eclipse was going to be doing something like an E-Tech plus Geo combination, a mid-end Geo gun, like the E-Tech 3 for the Ego Markers. So, recently on PB Nation News section, boom, this shows up, and that's where we get into the meat of what I'm talking about. The Etha Planet Eclipse gun. Brand spanking new pictures just came out of this gun being used in Germany at a recent big game. And that is what I'm here to talk about right now. So let's look over some features of this gun from what we can tell from the pictures, and let's check it out. So when you're looking at this gun, what you're first going to notice is this thing is tiny. When you're looking at it, I mean, look how small it is in this guy's hands. I mean, it is just one small gun. So aside from that, let's look at some other features we got going on here. Uh, very noticeable, you're going to see that there's the logo, the Etho logo right there. And right above it, you're going to see that it looks like you have a toolless back cap to take out, just like the Geo 2. Great feature, love that feature, looks like it's going to be real easy to maintain. Another thing you're going to notice right off the bat is, you're going to, if you look closely, you're going to see that it looks like it has the composite parts, like the E-Tech 3 LT, which brings into the feature that, of weight, which is going to be really lightweight. If you held an E-Tech 3 LT, you know they're really light guns, but still really durable. But that also brings into the feature, oh, is there possibly going to be like an LT and AM feature, like the E-Tech? Or maybe like an upgradable aluminum kit? You never know. So that's also another feature you want to look at. Oh, uh, we got the two-piece barrel. Looks like the same one you're going to find on E-Tech 3. A real neat feature. If you look at the reg, it looks like the same style reg to where the uh, reg uh, screws into the body with a female-to-male port. If you know what I'm talking about, just look at the Ego 11, Ego Geo 2s has the same reg style as those. Great. Really makes the reg a lot smaller. It's an awesome feature there. Oh, you're going to notice it does not have the ang angled reg collar, like the Geo 2.1s and the Ego 11s. Not a big deal, because if you look at the ASA, it's still got a macro line out the front ASA, so it gives it that really nice swim profile right there. And the ASA, actually really interesting... It doesn't look like it could be a new version of the Pops ASA, who knows. Personally, I don't think so. It really reminds me of the Bob Long gear drive ASAs, or from way back, those Warrior on-off ASAs from the front. It looks like one of those. It looks like we got a new ASA coming out from Planet Eclipse for this gun. Really neat little ASA got going down up there that I kind of like. Uh, another real interesting feature that caught my eye was the grips. If you look at the top of the grips in these pictures, you'll notice that there is not a visible uh, grip screw for them, unless it's covered by the guy's hands, but most of them at the top, and you just can't see one, and if it's too much lower, it's going to be interfering with the board, possibly. So the only one you really see is at the bottom of the grip, so interesting feature to see how those grips are going to attach on there. And also on the back of the grip frame, you're going to notice that it is an LED board like the E-Tech 3. So maybe if you get uh, the AM version, if there is one or whatnot, there's going to be the Immortal board upgrade for it. Uh, definitely going to have more news on this gun as it comes out. Uh, really good move on Planet's part, coming out with a mid-end Geo, as it looks like. But uh, obviously no official details have been released by Planet yet, but really looking forward to those, and this is a gun I am definitely going to be keeping my eye on.